Three, two, one. I'm Phil from 3DP UK Tech Channel here today. We are going to look at the EBOS filament dryer. And this one is named the Polyphemus. EBOS are a company that was formed about 2020 and they had a successful Kickstarter which they had the Cyclops come out and that really did well. So what they did is they actually looked at the community, they asked some questions, they got some feedback from some of the customers that bought the Cyclops. And what they did is they then followed up with a single roll launch which was the uh, Filament Dryer Series X and that, that did really well. And then the next step up with some more feedback from the community is the Polyphemus. As you can see, um, it's a dual filament dryer. So you can have two spools on there, uh, two one kilo spools. Um, but also, if you can see at the bottom here, which I'll show in a bit more detail a bit later, is you can also purchase an attachment. This actually come with my review unit. Um, and it just connects up to the lid and the lid lifts up like so and you literally just connect it up there and you can have three kilo spools which for me filament drying for three kilo spools is overlooked quite a lot because it's not a common thing that the community uses but for anyone that does like large scale um, printing like farms and stuff like that that would be ideal because three kilo spools tend to be used for printing farms so the other thing that um, EBOS have is the uh, three in one wash, dry and uh, cure resin um, machine. So I'm hoping to be getting sent that for review in the next few weeks. Um, so take a look at that as well. But like I say, what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna go around the machine and take a look at what specs it's got, what type of features it's got. Um, Overall, my experience so far from the unboxing was brilliant, so, so easy to put together. I'm not gonna go into that in this particular video. Um, I will, however, on the screen in a bit, post up some pictures of the instructions on how to put it. It's literally some perspex and some push slot um, sides, and it all just fits together with the screws that they supply, and the instruction manual is brilliant. Okay, a quick word from today's video sponsor, PCBWay.com. As you can see from the website, it's really easy to use. They have an instant quote system. They do uh, PC board prototyping, PCB assembly, rigid flex. Um, they also do 3D printing services and CNC services. So if you click on each of those different sections, they will take you into like a quote system where you can select exactly your requirements. They deliver worldwide and they have instant payments. They're, they're well respected within the um, prototyping community. CBWay.com, today's video sponsor. So as I said earlier, this is a dual filament dryer, so you can have two spools drying at any given time. So you could supply two different machines if you so choose. Um, and with the attachment kit that I'm showing on screen now, um, you can basically do three kilo spools. And if you've got a print farm, that would be ideal because you can dry your filaments while using your actual printers. Um, so the build overall took about five minutes and the instructions were pretty easy to read. So I was drying in no time. So I'm going to remove the lid now. The other great feature for the Polyphemus is the fact that you can select the rotate function. So I'm going to demonstrate that. So that's meaning when the spools aren't being used on the printers, because obviously if you're using them on the printers, you're not going to be able to use the rotate function because you'll get um, the spool will actually just go round on itself and you end up with just a complete mess. Um, so you can leave them to rotate and dry. So that would allow for the um, spool to be evenly dried because a lot of these spools across the brands um, they tend not to have that rotate function so you don't evenly dry the actual filament as you can see on the screen now this is rotating so it just does little mini um, rotates every sort of five seconds and that will work with the three kilo as well because it goes across the two runners as you can see um, for me that's a really great feature 
um, and something that is um, going to be really beneficial to everyone. So the lid comes with a handle and it's lightweight. So as you can see from the video, there's loads of various holes for Bowden tubes. So it means you can come off at different angles. So if you wanted to supply two different machines, you can do so. Okay, so as you can see from the front of the machine, there's also slots. So you could come in from the front and go round. So let's put the three kilo spool on there to get an idea of um, how that works and how the rotate function works with that. As you can see, sits really nicely on there. I'm going to put the lid on in a minute as well. So I've got the rotate function on it as we speak and you can see it perfectly works with that. So the functionality of this um, filament dryer is just it's just blowing my mind really to be able to have two spools one spool three kilo spools with the attachment and as you can see the lid with that additional part of the bottom and there's plenty of space for that three kilo spool so what we're going to do is just take a quick look over the screen now and the different functions that this has so as you can see, you've got the on and off button and then you have the mode button which selects which um, type of brand of or type of filament that you're going to be using. So PLA, um, ABS, etc., PA, PC, um, TPU, PETCHI and also you have some selection screens to be able to choose your own. Um, you can also select um, the fan to go faster as well so the speed of the fan that blows inside of it and this helps obviously to keep the airflow going really well okay so when you make the selection obviously each different um, filament type will have a different temperature a different amount of um, time that it will spend on it um, and that all, it all really depends on what type of filament you're going to be working with so for instance, once you've selected it, it will come up with that desired time and how long it would likely to be needed to dry. So we're just going to go through some of the other features now. So pressing the cog will actually allow you to change the temperature. And how you do that is you press it and it flashes and then you use the up and down key just to change it. So for instance, that's the time we've selected five hours and the temperature is 70. Um, you can change that for any of those, um, but like I say, the M1, M2 and M3 is just if you want to select your own types of um, modes, so people like have their own um, way of doing it. This is actually how much humidity in there. Back to the lid, this is the open vent to allow any moisture out, and then the screen's just telling you the humidity at the moment. So here's some prints that I've done. Now this filament was a couple of weeks out, um, out of a bag it wasn't with any desiccant and as you can see I, I preheated it for about four hours and this is PLA and these are some def racer parts that I'm printing for um, my def racer that I'm going to build which is from the real sand prentice so as you can see this is with two spools in there so we're currently drying these um, for four hours and I'm going to do some prints with these a bit later on in the video um, as you can see the build quality is for me is it's brilliant it's really solid the perspex isn't flimsy um, it reaches temperature really quickly it does exactly what it says that it's going to do and this is the eboss polyphemus dual rotating filament dryer and it also has the attachment for an extra cost um, to have three kilo spools um, like I say um, they sent this for me to review and it's been brilliant so in my advice, um, it's a worthy purchase if you were thinking about purchasing the EBOS Polyphemus. Now, thanks again for watching today's video on the EBOS Polyphemus uh, filament dryer. I'm Phil from 3 Peak UK Tech Channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe, smash a like on the uh, video and uh, tick that notification bell for future videos. Take care, everyone.